This segment is sponsored by New Perspective Financial Solutions. If you are a federal government worker and you're gearing up for retirement, being aware of your options and what's available to you may be one of the best ways to set yourself up for success. So here to help us out on this is Tavon Jackson. Tavon is the founder of New Perspective Financial Solutions, a DC-based firm that focuses on preparing people for a successful retirement. Welcome back to Great Day Washington. Thanks for having me. I know you work with a lot of federal government employees. Yes. What's the best way that they can educate themselves on all of the TSP investment options. So one thing you can do is you can call in and talk to me. Okay. Or you right. can go to TSP.gov and it'll break down each fund. Okay. So there's really five of them. Jeez, there's the G fund, not too many, but it's a little bit. Okay. <laughs> the G fund is like a money market, so okay. that's like cash. Okay, it doesn't grow your money, you won't lose anything. Okay. There's the F fund, F is in Frank, that's a bond fund. So you want to stay away from that when interest rates are going up because it's kind of mm -hmm. like a seesaw. When interest rates go up, your bond fund goes down. So uh, you don't want that. Okay. The C fund, that's the S&P 500. So those are the companies that we know. Amazon, Apple, Pepsi, Coca-Cola. Right, right. I like that one. Okay. There's the I fund. Those are international companies. And then there's the mm -hmm. S's and Sam fund. That's the small cap company. So think of that as like the iPod when it first came out. Oh. Nobody knew it was going to be as big as it was but yeah. it got that big. So the yeah. S fund invests in smaller companies that have the potential to do great, but they can also crash as well. So that's the most aggressive one. Okay. And my job is to help you find the mix of yeah. all five of them in your portfolio. Okay, all right, that would be nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, finding that education, knowing what to do. When's the right time to start this? When should you get dialed in on this as you're preparing for your retirement? Yeah, so you wanna do it as soon as you start, but let's say most people who call in are 60 and older, and now they're at a point where like, hey, can I retire? Uh, so we yeah. gotta factor in when you're retiring, because if you retire before the age of 62, you will get a pension, but you also get what's called a social security supplement as well. Okay. That's one of the biggest traps in the federal government because what happens is that's like a temporary check that you get until age 62. But then when it goes away, guess what happens? Most yes. people take their real social security too early and then there's yeah. a 30% cut and then there's also a cap mm -hmm. on how much money you can make from a job. So we try okay. to help you avoid these traps and that's something that you'll, you'll see when you call it. Okay, mm -hmm. I know you probably get so many questions. Is there one that's repeated to you over and over, a very common question from the federal government employees that you work with? Sure, it's two questions. One, okay. what do I do with my TSP once I retire? You do have an option to leave it there and that's probably your cheapest option. And also you're used to it, you've had it in there for 30 years, mm -hmm. but a lot of our clients roll it over into an IRA because okay. we can actually get insurance on the money so that if it crashes, your money's protected. And then the second okay. question is, what do I do about my federal employee health benefits, which is the health oh. insurance? Okay. So once you turn 65, you're eligible for Medicare, but you also can keep your employee health benefits as well, and people don't know which one should I choose. Yeah. So I would tell you that, hey, you wanna keep your federal employee health benefits, get on Medicare Part A, which is the free version, and then we'll have a discussion if Part B is the right one for you. Okay. I know we always mention a bunch of different age numbers. Of sure. You've mentioned a couple this time. Okay, so from a pension standpoint, can you break down the implications of the age you are when you retire? Yeah, so if you're under the old government system, if you did your 40 years, which is a long time, but if you did your 40 <laughs> years, you get about 80% of your income. The okay. new government system is not as lucky. They get oh. about 30 to 40%. So the way you okay. calculate it is you take your highest three years, so if you're making 100,000, 101, 102, you average that out, let's okay. say it's 100,000. Okay. Then you multiply it by your years of service, let's say somebody worked 35 years, yeah. and then you either multiply it by 1% or 1.1%, depending on if you're over 62 or under 62. That'll give you your gross pension, and then what's gonna come out of that is your FEGLI, your federal employee health mm -hmm. benefits, taxes, but that number that you calculate, that's your gross before Uncle Sam touches it. Okay. Yeah. I feel like I need this on spreadsheets. I need you to explain it again. I know people at home are saying the same thing. Sure. So you can get so much more from Tavon. If you would like to learn more about preparing for your retirement, New Perspective Financial Solutions has a great offer. Tavon wants to help protect and continue to grow your money while also helping you create a reliable income stream. So right now for the first five callers with a portfolio of $500,000 or greater, they're offering a complimentary uh, portfolio x-ray and retirement income plan just for you. This will allow the team at New Perspective Financial Solutions to sit down with you personally, to schedule a call, to make sure that you are on the right track for a successful retirement. The number to call is 240-335-8366. Again, it's 240-335-8366.